Hi, I'm Chris Valentin from Redding, California at Bethel Church. And um, I'm here just to talk about what I see for 2009. Uh, 2008, the, the prophets were prophesying that it was a year of breakthrough. And I feel like this is a year of occupation. Uh, it was Napoleon who said the object of war is victory, but the object of victory is occupation. And we know that as believers that the object of occupation is transformation. I believe this is the year of occupation when the Lord's going to begin to allow us to occupy what's uh, been commonly called the seven mountains of society or the seven places of influence, the seven spheres of society. And like last year was a real year of uh, warfare, um, like the children of Israel when they came into the wilderness, they had to fight for cities. But this is a year when we're learning how to occupy those cities, how to bring apostolic transformation into those cities. And uh, the Lord gave me a word. I was coming home from Spain the other day, and the Lord gave me a word for this year. I feel like it's more of a word of wisdom than it is a prophetic declaration. He said this is the year of that we're moving from being purposeful to being strategic. And he gave me the scripture. It's in Matthew 10, 16, that says, Behold, I send you as sheep among wolves, so be as shrewd as serpents and innocent as doves. And um, the and then in Luke he says the sons of this age are more shrewd in relation to their own kind than the sons of light. And he gave me this phrase: maybe it's time for us to study the tactics of serpents so that we can emulate their strategies and overcome their purposes. And I, I think this is the year that we are to strategically study the ways of serpents. And Jesus sent us out as sheep among wolves. Uh, that means that uh, he sent us out to people who are hungry for us. Jesus said, unless you eat my flesh and drink my blood, you have no part in me. And so he sent us out in a world that's hungry for who we are. And we just we just have to get to a place where they, we can be assimilated into society. And so I really believe that the word of the Lord, uh, at least the word of wisdom for this year, is that we're to be st strategic. We're to study the ways of serpents so that we can emulate their ways and overcome their purposes. And I was thinking about this on the way home, and I was we're big fans of uh, HGTV. It's a home improvement station uh, where they uh, do home improvement shows and uh, buy and selling houses. It's all about how houses and and uh, we TiVo those shows, so we watch them oftentimes and three or four or five of them at a time. And I recognized not long ago that about th one third of the, all those shows are uh, homosexual couples. So they show you, they show homosexual couples fixing up their homes or homosexual couples buying their homes. And of course they're always happy and they always show their bedroom. And, and about a third of the time that they show homosexuals, they show them with their happy children around them. And I realized something that the homosexual community this, this has really captured a strategic plan in that this, this show really isn't about home improvement. This, this show is really about come into our houses, come into our homes, and see that the homosexual lifestyle is very normal. Just like you have children, we have children, just like you're happy, like we're, we're happy. And, and the show really has taken on a real strategic edge in that um, you think you're watching home improvement, by, but little by little, you're being um, actually indoctrinated into the homosexual agenda. And so I believe that's one example of what happens when you study the ways of serpents. Um, you begin to be, begin to realize how to uh, emanate their ways, how to, how to, how to get uh, needed into society. Like Jesus talked about the fact that we are like leaven uh, in, in a loaf, that leavens the whole loaf. And, I believe this is the year for us to actually get needed into society. Like last year was a year of breakthrough where the Lord's taking us and we're breaking into society. But it's time for us not just to break into society, but to become leavened to society and to have strategic purposes. Uh, much of Christian television is uh, Christians. Um, it's made by Christians. It's produced by Christians. And it's uh, for Christians. And then we add an evangelistic message to the end. I, I'm not opposed to that at all. But there needs to be a greater strategy than just shows produced for Christians by Christians with an evangelistic message at the end to, that's really um, a show that's not attracting people who aren't, 
aren't believers. And, and I, I really think that HT, HGTV is a great example of, of a strategic kind of uh, warfare where, you know, we're going to begin to move into the media um, and into the political realm and into the educational realm. But we're going to do it strategically so that we can, like, uh, hide the, the kingdom is, is like hidden. It's like leaven. But it, it leavens the whole loaf because the kingdom is so much more powerful than the kingdom of this world. And I think it, we're going to find that it's like the book of Esther. The book of Esther doesn't mention God anywhere in the book of Esther, but it's all about God. And so anyway, um, let me just end with this. I really feel like the word of the Lord for this year is strategic, is that we're to be strategic and we're to learn the ways of serpents. I'm not talking about the nature of serpents or take on the nature of serpents, but I'm talking about that we're to learn the strategies of serpents. And the Lord told me, you've done the dove thing really well. You've been as innocent as doves but you haven't been as shrewd as serpents. And so uh, my prayer uh, is that we would begin to understand how to influence and impact society. The homosexual community is less than 3% of the American population, and yet they control the political agenda. Uh, there, there, are, there are the ways of serpents. There are, I'm not talking about homosexuals themselves, but I'm talking about the spirit that is behind homosexuality, the spirit that's behind abortion, the spirit that's behind several of these agendas that are that are wrong, that are evil, and yet they control the political agenda. I believe that one of the things the Lord wants us to do this year is to study the ways of serpents that we can begin to have a strategic plan that alters the course of society and transforms people. And so I want to pray for that right now. Father, I pray that you would begin to give us a strategic plan that we could be leavened in society that raises the whole loaf. It raises the loaf. It causes us to, to rise up in kingdom standards and kingdom views. And Father, I pray that you would give people that are watching this video, even doctors and nurses and housewives and, and business people and educators, that you would give them a strategic plan where they could begin to influence society both overtly and covertly in a way that transforms the world and brings occupation that the kingdom of this world will become the kingdom of our God. Thank you for listening.